हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो ऑन लूप लर्निंग सो इन दिस वीडियो विल सी हाउ टू यूज लूप लर्निंग एल एम एस एज अ एडमिन एज अ प्रिंसिपल यू कैन से सो लेट स्टार्ट बाय सर्चिंग लूप लर्निंग ऑन गूगल लूप लर्निंग हेयर यू कैन सी डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट लूप लर्निंग डॉट कॉम दिस इज ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट वेयर यू कैन लॉग इन टू द लूप लर्निंग सो दिस इज ऑफिशियल वेब पेज ऑफ लूप लर्निंग डॉट कॉम और यू कैन डायरेक्टली टाइप दिस यू आर इन यूर एड्रेस बार सो यू कैन कम हियर डायरेक्टली ऑन दिस पेज सो नेक्स्ट स्टार्ट बाय इंटरिंग योर डिटेल्स फॉर प्रिंसिपल आई डी और एडमिन आई डी सो यू विल गेट वन एडमिन आई डी एज अ ई मेल एंड पासवर्ड सो क्लिक ऑन लॉग इन फर्स्ट आफ्टर दैट हियर यू कैन सी वन डैशबोर्ड इज देयर on this dashboard you can able to see the performance uh, different different channel or groups you can say for communication then here i have one task option then i have these menus here my school menu is there if i click on my school i can be able to see all my school detail or i can edit those details and also i can see master data how many sections are there how many students are there how many teachers are there so in calendar i can schedule events and i can see already assign or i already created events there next thing in resources i can see all the resources for subject and topics or i can add new resources also so in performance tab i can see the performance of specific class or specific student and in task i can create new task as well as i can edit already created task or i can see all created tasks there so let's start one by one here i have admin account and in settings i can change my password and in help section if i required any help i can uh, describe my issue here and i can raise a ticket so the loop learning team will guide you how to resolve your issue or if any technical issue is there so they will get it solved so book a demo option is also here so this is for loop learning right for if you have to see all loop learning options and all their team will explain you so next come to my school so this is first menu which we are going to explore here one master data option is there so here i can see how many grades are there how many students are there how many teachers are there also i can see the details of that specific grade within that grade how many student and teachers i have so next view details if you click on that view detail option you will be able to see in grade first a how many students are there how many teachers are there so let's see how to create new grade first so here i have one option to add grade in master data so i'll click on add grade so i have to create grade number 4 and then you can this is a general subject which is by default generally is created as a default subject to allow you to stay send invitations before you have selected or added subjects to a grade this subject can't be edited or deleted if you want to assign a teacher without subject so it will get assigned as a general subject teacher so for that we have this general option so i type your grade name and click on create so now i have created grade 4 and here you can invite teacher you can add teachers to that group or grade we can say so click on invite teachers and you can fill the details of the specific teacher and then you can click on send invitation if i click on send invitation so it will send the login credential to that teacher on email and contact number so the teacher can log in and if the teacher uh, logged in then after that it will get assigned to that section 
so next how to so this is for student we have added student so same procedure is for teacher also you can click on invite you have to enter the teacher one extra option is the we have here so if you want to assign that teacher as a class teacher you can tick this checkbox so it will get assigned as a class teacher or if you want to assign that teacher to specific uh, subject as a subject teacher so you can select the subject for that teacher okay now this grade we have not created subject so we are not be able to see subject here so you can assign him or her as a class teacher or something so click on send invitation so now this will send the invitation and the login credential to that teachers so new section also see I have grade for a section only if I have to add new section I can click on new section option so it will create one more section in that class so now I have two section grade fourth a and grade fourth B so here also I can add student and teacher so here I can add new teachers to that grade or I can increase the section of that grade so here I can see all student here i have filter if i have to see grade second student i can see the grade second student only and then again i can select the sections second a second b and second c so like this i can add filter and see the details next teachers tab we have here we can also have the option to invite teacher or i can edit the already present teacher suppose i have to assign him for new subject or something so i can click on edit details also i can view the details of that particular teacher here so this is all about my school in my school you can manage teachers sections and divisions so next option we have is calendar so in calendar option you will see uh, all the events which are already assigned or created by your school or you can apply filter for specific event like you want to see exams only so just click on exams and if you want to see holidays only you can apply holidays so only valid holidays are visible there so you can see the clear view so you can select grade wise also or school total school events or you can apply the filter grade wise so i can see exams of that specific grade suppose i have to see exams of grade second so i can select exams and grade second so i am able to see only grade second event so currently i have not created any event so in your calendar if you have multiple events you can see here so next resources tab is there so in resources tab we can manage all the resources for all subject or topics so this is grade wise so suppose in first grade i want to add some resources for computer i can click on computer i can see already present resources and topics here if i want to add something in this topic like python programming so i can click on add resources i can select the topic python programming and here i can upload any file up to 20 mb max i can upload five files and all formats are supported I can also add one link or URL you can see here so next I can add new topic if my topic is not present here I want to add resources for new topic I can click on add new topic first I can create that topic and then I can choose that topic and add resources for that particular topic then you have to click on save so this is all about how you can add new resources for specific subject or topic and grade wise also so next tab I have is performance so in performance tab I can see class wise performance right hand side then according to the task completion status also I can see the performance here I can see the performance student wise if I click this particular student I will get the details of that 
specific student rank total point earns and I can have filter here also date wise and subject wise also so here is level and I can see that so a particular students detail here and I can message that student also from this option next I can download this performance details for that particular student so I can apply it gray apply the filter grade wise section wise and subject wise here so this is all about to observe performance of that particular class divisions or student so next task option is there I can create multiple tasks or and we will explore this task option in student login or in student uh, teacher login so this is all about here you can create any task I mean like test um, like ATDT we have next home tab you already know here I can see let's explore these communication channels so this is announcement group uh, here you can see all uh, student and teachers are there in this group and only admin can send the message in this group so if I send any message it will be visible to all teachers and all students and all I mean whatever the members of that group so here I can see files so this will show all files which I have shared in this group here's like whatsapp you can see the media so like that so here about you can add about that announcement channel and also if I have to pin any message I can pin the message from here also I can delete the specific message so but you will get the note you deleted this message so holiday starts from tomorrow so this message is visible to all also I can add attachment and emojis so click on next so holiday will start from tomorrow so this message will be visible to all the members of this announcement group so if I share any file this file is also if I share I think dot extension files are not allowed so you can max share five files so I'll share share any one file so I can share this text file so see in files I can see the files so next if I have to be the grade specific if I have to communicate with this grade only I can select the grade and I can type the message as a principal so this message will be visible to all that grade members means all that st students and teachers for that specific grade so these are like whatsapp groups you can communicate with them next I can if I have to direct message to any student or teacher I can search here also I can firstly I have to select the section and I can search and message for that particular so direct my DM message option is there so this is all about the admin ID where here you can see the graphs and all the performance uh, tabs so I can download this also so next start with the student login or teacher login so see you in the next video thank you for watching this video